one day soon it's going to be too late. You know, right now, today, inside of our church, right outside of our church, in our community, in our families, friends that come over, people that work with me, people that work with you, <clears throat> need to know Jesus. And it has nothing to do with our church problems, our disagreements. <clears throat> You know, that's what the devil sit back and say, man, I'm loving every bit of this. Mm -hmm. Man, they're so occupied and they think they got all the time in the world and they're going to stay in, 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 and they're going to be stuck on this. And this whole time where they're stuck over here waiting to, waiting to get done with this and move on, I'm going to be corrupting these people. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's for me too. That's for me. I... I gotta, I gotta get with it, amen. I gotta, I gotta see that right now is the time I'm supposed to be pastor. Right now is the time I'm supposed to be the witness. Right now is the time I'm supposed to be the guy that invites people. Right now is the opportunity the Lord has given me to be that labor. He's uncalled me. He's unchosen me. He's going to show me the way. And He showed you the way. Right now, it's our turn to point them in the right direction. Amen. And just like every one of these farmers around here, you understand that we only have so long. Interesting thing, I, I see, I've never seen one guy out there. Every one of these fields I go by, there's never one guy. There's always hell. Every one of them has learned that if I'm going to get it done and I'm going to get it done right, then I need help. If I'm going to get it done and I'm going to get it done on time, I need help. If I'm going to get it done and I'm going to get it done and, and, and still be where I need to be physically and emotionally, I need help. I need help. Boy, we need help. Amen. Amen. Man, if we was willing to help each other, I mean, really. Willing to help each other. Not willing to hug each other. Not willing to shake each other's hand. Not willing to uh, take out the trash together. But willing to go out and worship. And go out and witness together. To go out and just invite people to church. Together. If we were just willing to pass out flowers together. If you drive this weekend, I'll drive next week. If we was just willing to support one another. Well, we didn't we didn't seem like we done nothing there, but brother, let's go to the next. If we were just willing to help one another. You know, something I noticed about harvesting and and uh, if they had the time and, and it these are what so Expensive. I believe they scrap that cotton three or four more times. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know there's not a farmer that goes by it. It's short next to bush all that stuff up, but there's still four or five more pieces of cotton on that, that bush. Or stall through the cotton. Right. It's just like with Bob. I watch Bob a lot pick up the cons. And it's, he's got one of the roller things and he's watching right there in his road. He rolls that thing, you know, Angela's rolling. And he's rolling that thing, you know, like this. Praise God, every now and then I see him. So what's the purpose of having the roller thing and him and get this one again? Well, Angela has told me and he better not miss no. <laughs> I mean that's just the deal. That's the deal. She's gonna do it. She says Bob will come check that area. <laughs> 
And Bob knows that he he better not miss nothing. So that's one the roller wouldn't pick up, so he just picks it up with his hand. Amen. There's not a one that should be left. We really should have that attitude. I mean, if we really had that attitude, then we don't want to see anybody lost. No. I don't care if they get on their nerves. I don't care if they're not the type of person we like to hang around. I don't care if they have bad habits. I don't care, if, you know, how far we got to go out. Or how many times we got to go out. We should have the attitude that there's not one we want to leave. Not one. Not one. Should we be okay? By just not getting. Mm. Now that's an attitude of a harvester, a true harvester. Mm. I'm gonna get everything I can get. <laughs> you know these guys here, as well as Bob, all these farmers out here picking up cotton, picking up. Mm. There's no breakdowns. You know, I mean they they might break down, but they don't quit. Mm. Breakdown is just a just a break. <laughs> you understand? I mean, there's no attitude. Well, <laughs> that thing right there is just tore. Let's pull it. Let's take. <laughs> I don't feel like working on it right now. I don't feel. Yeah, I've got a problem, in other words, but I don't. I don't tend no fixing. That's not the attitude of any farmer I know. And just like Bob's thing, if, it, if that roller quits, he'd be down on his hands and knees, getting them things. You know. His angel wouldn't have it any other way. But if we have a problem, if we have a problem, we don't just quit. We're harvested. Amen. It don't matter if the cotton picker the whole front of it falls off. What's out in the field is worth us fixing. We're going to fix this thing. We don't quit. We're not going to drag it back to the barn and just say, well, you know, we had a we had a run of bad luck. We just go we just go quit arms. That, that's not how it works, is it? We fix this stuff. No matter the cost, no matter how long it takes, uh, that's what we start piling four or five guys on it, amen. And it's that important. Well, that's the lesson for us right now. It don't matter what's going on, we fix it. Fix. Amen. We fix it and we go back to work. We fix it and we get back to the job that's at hand. Because Jesus Christ said they ready. They ready right now. He says, I move with compassion because they're sheep with no shepherd. It's time to get them in a church where we can lead them. I'm going to tell you that you know, there's a lot of pressure on these guys to come out here during harvest time. It's a good time here. They love it. They do. Why? It's payday. It's their reward for the time, patience, and hard work that they put into their job. They sat out there and they watched the group. They took care of it. Now, the reward. I tell you, church, our reward is in watching people sing. Amen. What a reward to know that somebody that was lost and died and headed for a devil's hell is now that door's closed because they know Jesus. Amen.
way we got saved. And we get about it, right?